Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing a challenge. This is a drift car challenge with our good friend Diecast Show Customs. I'm not too deep into the knowledge of the drift world. So I found an appropriate compromise. Good 65 Mustang here. Rolling on blades. Today's mission is to build the Ken Block Mustang drift car. 850 horsepower of pure Hoonigan. This is a pretty tall order. A lot, of, a lot of details here. Pretty small car. Make that into that is going to be a lot of detail, but thank God it's not 100% styrene. That's all I have to say. Back in the die cast world. Let's do what we do best, fam. Let's get started here. As you can see, we're back to the green mat. Jimmy is still at large. Um, there's a 50-50 chance he might have got dissolved in the ABS solvent spill of a couple days ago. Or maybe he's in the back of one of these vans or something with Karen. I don't know. We're, we'll find him. We'll find him. I'm sure he's fine. Not a bad little ride. The thing had rubber tires in 1983. It's surprising. So this thing might have been worth a few dollars, but I need it today. This one's suffering from poopy axle syndrome anyways. There's a little bit of... A bit of poopy right there. So yeah, we're gonna use this car and we're gonna start cutting it up. So one thing we got going on is our car is gonna have to be low. Pretty well this whole little this whole little fender flare gone. And we got exhaust that's gonna be exiting down here. So I think it's going to be easier to just cut this out here right now than deal with it later. Because I'm going to do some, I got to do a wide body kit on this thing and it's going to be made of putty or epoxy. Epoxy putty. And if I'm drilling through my epoxy putty and then I hit uh, die cast all of a sudden, I think that might cause problems. So I'm just going to remove it. Remove it for sure. I'll mark out this wheel well as well. Because this thing's got a low, low, low stance. Low stance. The front's going to have to come out too, a little bit. And today we're using aircraft paint remover by Clean Strip. I can't seem to keep a link in the description for it. it. It's just, there's no consistent seller on Amazon at this time. So every time I update that link, it's usually down within a few days, it seems. So, sorry about that. Maybe you can find it locally. Plenty of other delicious things in the old description though where you can go buy all your diecast needs. Oh, it doesn't seem like that's doing too much. Normally it would be game over by now. Oh there it goes. Something's happening. Something's gonna happen. It's paint stripper is so potent it could gag a maggot. We got a little bit right here, maybe we'll just take care of this. Since we're waiting. That's some quality paint. This thing might even have primer. Yeah, I think it did. You can see the underside of the paint is a lighter color. Got my moss repellent. It's gonna cut off a little snip of this. And I'm gonna just uh, cut out a couple of chunks. Just gonna get a shape on a sharpie here. Just 
and use a little bit of glue something fast acting my haven't been feeling this crazy glue gel lately it's been slow put that in there we're gonna hold we're gonna just hold and glue that in there nicely and what we're doing is we're making um a nice wheel well arch because we're going to come in and we're going to add putty on top of here because we have to do a wide body. And this little piece of zinc is going to hold our nice wheel well shape just to save us from a bunch of extra body work that we don't need to be doing at the moment. You can do this with a pop can. Just as easy. Just as easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, an epoxy putty and here I have some JB Weld High Heat. I don't necessarily recommend this stuff but this is uh, available at your local hardware store. So it's convenient and it cures in about an hour. Wait for eight hours this stuff will seal up a crack on your manifold on your old truck. So this stuff has it's a two-part epoxy. The second part is going to be in the center here. If I remove this little cover. There's our second part right there. So we can just cut off a slice. So here's our putty. Probably gonna make an epic mess of my gloves. But all we gotta do is knead this up. And we're gonna knead it up into one color. And the mixing of these two compounds is what's gonna cause it to start to harden. This is a really bad idea with gloves on. And once we have a uniform color, we're good. Then I just take a chunk. We're going to roll it up. And we're going to stick it on our car. Now, I don't do this every day. <laughs> I don't even do this every week. But we're going to put that on all four sides. So I made a pretty good mess of this stuff. Just trying to get it on there. It's extremely tacky, so maybe the old JB Weld isn't the, uh, the right product for this. There's plenty of other epoxy putties that will be less intense. We'll see if I can make something out of this once it dries and I can start forming it. So I'm hoping in about an hour we can start working on it. We're going to see. We'll see in a minute. So we're at the 40 minute mark and my putty's firming up. It's at the point where I can cut it clean. So I'm going to try using a side cutting bit. Start shaping this up before it gets too hard. It's kind of what they do in the automotive industry. If you've ever heard of a Bondo rasp, it's pretty much a, a cheese grater. And you can cheese grate big chunks of Bondo into shape while they're still semi, semi hard, if you know what I'm saying. Got a lot to cut off. I put on quite a bit. So I'll probably snip off some snip some chunks here. And if you don't wait too long, it comes off pretty clean. clean indeed I gotta snip this right at the top of the bumper 
<clears throat> yeah. Same with this side. Top of the bumper. <clears throat> and then just flick it into oblivion. This is gonna take a while, you know, one of those one of those kind of projects. I feel like it's gonna be pretty rewarding in the end. I think. My front wheel, well, looks like hell. Well the back's looking better in the front. Anyway. If we can establish a nice edge here. You know what, this stuff isn't bad to work with once it's hardened. It was a nightmare when it's in the sticky stage. That's for damn sure. Starting to feel pretty good about that. Really getting that back end roughed in. The front is still a disaster, but we'll get to that, we'll get to that. But the back is looking okay. It's really roughing in real nice. Let's take a minute to appreciate this little transition. Below the scoop. It's kind of nice, right? Just about to start on this mess of a front bumper. You can see how bad this stuff goes on. It's just so tacky. So I'm going to see if I can make something out of this mess. Coming along pretty good. This bumper all profiled out. Keep in mind there's going to be a piece of styrene that goes below this to really finish off the uh It's going to be sweet. I wish I could test fit it on the body, but I can't until I get this fender figured out. But I got to link this up with that when it's together. So until I get this fender done I won't be able to blend these two pieces together but I think it's it's pretty close. I mean it's hard to do because it's so small but it's not bad. It's not bad considering what we got going on here. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit more. I'll probably get this fender carved out and then uh, yeah hopefully we can move on to something else. There's been a lot of work so far, but I'm enjoying it. Let's see if I can open up these side scoops. That is as deep as I'm willing to go on those bad boys. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
Feeling that. Still waiting on the stupid fender to harden. It's like calling in a turkey. <laughs> okay, update time. Been doing the styrene treatment. Still trying to figure out what height our wheels are going to be at. They're going to be tucked pretty good. But one thing I do have to do is uh, I got to drill this hood so that I can get painting here because I need this to dry. Okay, I got our car in basic black. This is black candy, but I don't think there's going to be any candy effect. The only reason I used candy is because it dries super, super quick and it's really easy to tape on. We're gonna try to get some of this paint job going here. Bunch of random crazy kind of zebra, kind of looks like trees in some other areas. We're gonna make some random shapes and we're gonna stick them to the car. This is gonna be time consuming, but you know, it's for the project. So of course doing anything at this scale is just absurd, so we're gonna try our best here. There's no there's no right way. Make a bunch of shapes that look the same, but use them on other parts of the car. I don't know how this is gonna go. Seems like all of my videos I've been putting out lately are just like, oh, this is the first time I've done this. Oh, this is the first time I've done this. Well, my evil plan is, because I'm crazy, I'm going to give this a light dusting at Quicksilver. And we're going to peel off all our stuff. Okay, now we have the crazy task of peeling all this off. So we're ending up with the same kind of thing. Obviously it's not as good because there's just, it's just impossible to do at this scale. But it's still kind of cool. I'm gonna make some uh, some decals as well, so it's gonna break things up some more. It's crazy, you know. Could have did probably twice as many of the uh, the stripes, but it's just hard to to make individual shapes. So I'm happy with this. It's all gonna kind of blend in once I start clear coating. Got a bunch of decals. Got to put on. Uh, uh, good thing my Createx paint dries instantly. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got a full race interior. Factory Mustang Dash. Got to do some details on that. Alright, it's decal time. Little 43s. got a cool look to it got some little hoonigans to go under there I 
I'm not sure how well these are going to show up, but we're going to do them anyways. Yeah, they kind of blend in, I guess. And I don't have the technology to do the white toner decals right now, so... This is as good as it's going to get. The other option would have been printing this on the white paper, but then... When you clear coat it, you see a white edge of a decal and it's just terrible, so uh, I'd rather just have I'd rather have this mess than have a white edge of a decal. Kind of just blends into the paint. Whatever. Still gonna be a cool. Still gonna be a cool car. I got plenty more decals to throw on, so maybe we'll see some green now. Or not. Or not. A little bit. A little bit of green. This will be the only good looking decal on the whole thing. At least we got that one. At least we got that one. Good little monster with a skull. It's Ken Brock's little guy. I'm going to cut out a couple of those and I'll just find an area where there's actual silver on the car. And it should show up no problem. Nice little window of silver right there. Gets the little skull guy. Yeah. Try to find more spots like that on the car where I can utilize. Let me put one right here. Just kind of fill in the gaps. Oh yeah, man. I like that one. That's a good one. Our sponsors would be pissed if we didn't get anything. Yeah. I want to piss off the sponsors. He put a Fig Newton decal in the center of his windshield. Put one of these off to the side like that. Looks pretty good. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, I'm ready to put this bad boy together. Got our little glass. Hooning. Interior. Looking pimp. Hell yeah, this thing is pimp. Glug, 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 glug. So let me get a screw in here. Blue, 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 I didn't want to do the scoop, the little uh, collector scoop that goes on top of the intake here. Once I put the motor in, I was like, you know what, that's it. I love it. I like it just how it is. I think it turned out pretty darn good. A little bit bummed out that some of my decals didn't show up, but it almost adds to the paint, you know, that adds to the chaos. So I'm really feeling that. We got exhaust. Check it out. Little baby exhaust tips outside. 
Here's another one. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, I'm trying to think. Did I do anything else? Back's looking sexy. Everything's looking sexy. I think we're done. Let's get it up on the old rotisserie. Yeah. Well, guys, we came a long way. Feeling pretty good about this. Oh, yeah, it's a diffuser. I put a diffuser on the back. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I just like looking at it. Make sure you go check out Diecast Show Customs video. Let me know how he did. I have no idea what he's doing. You guys see my car now, and uh, it's so nice. I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna make it the thumbnail. Because I, I kind of gotta. If you guys like this video, leave me a like. Daddy's gonna take a day off and go fishing or something, maybe tomorrow. So, uh, until we meet again, my friends, stay thirsty, and I'll see you in the next one.